Before you start setting block, make sure that the slab or footing is clean and smooth. Any high spots or low spots are going to show up in the walls. You'll see how to correct for out-of-level problems in a few minutes after the second course is finished. The slab or footer needs to be within a quarter inch of dead level to avoid correction work. If you're going to be working on a step footer, it's a good idea to have it step in 16-inch increments. That keeps you from having to cut partial height forms to follow the contour. Good walls start with careful measurements and clean lines to mark the outside or inside of the form. To keep the lines from being scuffed while working or blurred by water, some builders give them a light coat of fast-drying lacquer. After making the chalk lines, it's also a good practice to mark the locations of windows and doors. These will serve as reminders when you're laying out the wall. Although it is not required, some builders cut PVC collars to go around the dowels. When the wall is finished and the vertical rebar is being inserted from the top of the form, these collars capture the vertical rebar and hold it close to the dowel. Before setting block, fix the door bucks in place. Be sure they're plumb and set the kickers in a way that they can be adjusted later on if the bucks go out of plumb. To keep the work area clear, it's a good idea for the kickers to be run to the outside. Start placing forms by setting the corner blocks first. Put a right-hand corner at one end of the wall and a left-hand corner at the other. Then, if possible, work inward with straight forms such that the two meet at a door buck or under a window. When there are no openings, stack block from each end to the center of the wall. Hold off cutting the final block until everything is on the mark and tight. Remember, this first course will be the model on which all other courses are built. If something is off with the first course, you can be sure it won't get better as you stack higher. Zip tie or wire together the top connectors of all adjacent blocks, one to the next, to pull them tight and in line. Builders often fit an eco-block straight panel over each first course joint to be sure. Double check your marks. Now measure and cut the final block. Remember to keep it a touch short so you don't push everything off the mark by wedging it in place. If the cut leaves more than 8 inches between the webs, either cut a piece of 1x4 and screw it into the adjacent webs for reinforcement or mark the joint for reinforcing at a later time. If the plans call for horizontal rebar, put it in next. Fit the corner pieces first and then continue with the straight runs. Number 4 and number 5 rebar will snap into the notches on the connectors. There are many schools of thought as to how close or far apart pieces of rebar should be and how much they should overlap. Go by the methods you're accustomed to, following the building codes for your area and the engineered plans for the building.